Okay, we're going to be talking about decimals now, um, ever since we finished up with the fractions. But before we start actually getting into decimals, let's revisit place value. Um, if you'll remember, we had this exact chart before when we talked about uh, the whole numbers and place value. We talked about, you know, if we had this number, this 153524, that the 4 is in the 1's position, and the 2 is in the 10's position, and then so on and so forth. It was really important for us to understand that place value so that we could talk about those numbers. Well, not everything, as we have found out with the fractions, can be represented using whole numbers. So we have to be able to talk about parts of a whole, or you know, just a little piece of a whole. And that's where our decimals and our fractions come in. So here we have a place value chart that includes the decimals. Now, I want you to see that here we have our decimal um, point right here. And to the left of the decimal is the exact same place value for whole numbers that we've been using. The ones position, the tens position, the hundreds position, thousands, then ten thousands, then hundred thousands. Now when we get to the right of the decimal, we start talking about a portion or a part of a whole. So our first position to the right is the tenths position and then we have the hundredths, and then the thousandths, and then the ten thousandths, and so on and so forth. Do you see that these match up? The tens position matches up with the tenth, and then we have hundredth that matches up with hundredths. It's just backwards from what we're used to with the whole numbers. Now we do not have a, anything that coincides with the ones position, but other than that, it's, it's just our place value we've learned already um, going backwards, and, and at the end of the number we put a THS on the end to mean that it's a part or a, a portion of a whole. And when we read decimal numbers, we read, first of all, the whole number part, and then the decimal point itself is read as the word and. And then we would read the number to the right, and whatever position we're at at the end, we would read that position's place value. We're going to practice on that in um, another video, so keep that in mind as we go. Now, money, I think, is by far the easiest thing in the world to talk about, uh, to understand uh, what we're talking about when we talk about fractions, decimals, whole numbers, how they're all related to each other. Okay, so here we have a quarter. We're all very familiar with our quarters. And if we were going to talk about a quarter in number terms, we would say that it was 0.25 of a dollar. Okay, or, or we would say it's 25 cents, either way. Now, something you cannot do, it, you cannot say that it is 0.25 cents. That means a quarter of a cent, not a quarter of a dollar. So if you mean a quarter of a dollar, you have to put the dollar symbol in there. Those are two completely different things. 0.25 cents means it takes four of these to make a penny, and that's completely different. Okay, so according to the place value chart, if we were going to read 0.25 according to our place value chart. Then we would say our point is here and then the 2 and the 5 so we would say 25 now this is in the it ends in the hundredths position so that would be 25 hundredths. So we would read that as 25 hundredths. If we write it as a fraction 0.25 would be 25 hundredths. Those are read the exact same way. And if we were to reduce that, 25 goes into 25 one time, and it goes into 100 four times. So that would reduce down to one fourth or a quarter. Isn't that interesting? In the next video, we're going to start practicing with our decimals.